Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another Cold War Zombies video. And as you know, today, earlier, Treyarch released the trailer for Mauer de Toten, the new Zombies map that's coming next week. And uh, like most people, uh, I watch it, then I watch other YouTubers, their reactions. And the only person that actually spotted something, I believe, that nobody else has spotted. So he deserves 100% of the credit because I've been there before where I've partly solved something and then somebody else came along. Uh, and like maybe finished the whole thing and then took all the credit. So I don't want any credit for it. It all belongs to Mr. T Lexify because he's the only one. I mean, I didn't watch like a ton of videos. I just pretty much watched like the mainstream channels. Uh, he's the only one that spotted something that he might actually be onto something. And I just happened to make a connection after I saw his video. So. Um, like I tell people in the past, I've been doing this probably only since maybe 2017. Uh, the way Treyarch hides Easter eggs uh, is very clever. Uh, the amount of intelligence that the devs have, I don't know if it's Craig or, or who actually hides the Easter eggs or comes up with the Easter eggs, but they're pretty much the most clever people um, probably on the planet or in gaming. Uh, as you know, the zombies mode is probably the most um, coolest, most secretive um, mode probably in video games. Uh, and it's put to a high standard pretty much. So anyways, not to kind of drag this on. So again, just to kind of make sure I get it across. I don't want any credit for it. Even if it's wrong, you know, but if it's right, uh, he deserves all the credit because I would never have spotted this if I didn't watch his video. So I'm going to point out to you uh, what I spotted. Okay, so I kind of jumped ahead, but you'll get the picture. So in the beginning of the trailer, um, and I'm going to try and not play the trailer, uh, there are a couple silhouettes, um, and it's hinting first at Valentina, and I think this is it here. That one for sure looks like it's Valentina because it's a little bit slim and she has the hat tilted to the side. So I think the way they did this, again, is very clever to trick us. And I uh, actually tweeted it to Mr. T Lexify and a couple other zombie YouTubers that, um, you know, it's pretty clever the way they, they've done it. So um, I'm going to explain it in particular. So uh, the first one, I believe, is Valentina and they're doing that again to trick or mislead you misdirection definitely slim the hats to the side it's very slim and slender and i would think for sure that that's valentina um her face is probably facing towards uh, or, or away from us and the hat being tilted to the side she's very slim and slender or it could be the new eddie just another version maybe a younger slimmer version of eddie um but this one for sure, I'm going to say is Valentina because it's probably, again, how clever Treyarch hides stuff. Uh, and then towards the end of the trailer, they do that again, but I think they change it. And I think they change it to either Richthofen or it could be the new um, younger Eddie. And I'm going to try and um, move that up a little bit. And I probably should have... Um, Maybe made it a little bit brighter. So this one, as you can see, is a lot wider. Uh, and the hat is more straight up. And you see the silhouette. And the shoulders are a little bit more broad. And it kind of reminds me about when he stepped out of the teleporter for the giant um, trailer. So after that plays, uh, you'll see it says, obviously it's the name, um, Mauer der Toten. But the way they do it. Um, and I'm going to try and pause it at the right time. I actually have it on the other screen, so I'm not, I'm not actually going to kind of um, skip ahead. The way they do it, they put D-E-R. So that made me think, okay, so it goes from the silhouette of what looks to be, and this is what uh, Mr. T Lexify pointed out. Um, actually, that right there might be a little bit... Um, might look more it's definitely changed that's more of a guy a wider shoulder uh the hat might be straight up so i think they were clever in changing the person the second time around and when it zooms out it says der probably hinting at and this is what i tweeted to them dr edward richthofen i'm like how freaking clever 
is Treyarch in doing that, that, like, they made us think that it's Valentina again, or not we, but, well, I guess I did, I guess I have to include myself, I don't want to make it seem like, uh, again, like, I'm the one that solved it, but it specifically says D-E-R for probably Dr. Edward Richthofen, uh, and then it zooms out, but I'm, for sure, it changes, I know in the beginning that has to be Valentina, because uh, it's a more feminine, slimmer, um, silhouette, then it changes to what looks like to be a more broad, um, silhouette, maybe more for a, a, a masculine, probably for a guy. So the way they've done that is so clever and not to say that I haven't been wrong in the past, but I've also am probably the one that solved most Easter eggs. Um, and I've been saying this probably since 2017. Uh, everything, there's a lot of stuff that the zombies community, um, visual Easter eggs are so, like, that's the Achilles heel of the zombies community. For some reason, they just can't see stuff. Um, I know there are a million trolls on Twitter and, and YouTube, people that just can't solve anything, so they just go on the internet and just troll. Uh, they're, they're gonna, like, no matter what you show them, you can show, you can literally show Rick Toffin, they're like, no, that's not Rick Toffin. Um, but on top of that, go, okay, so back to it, like, the silhouette, and then it goes D-E-R, and then it zooms to, uh, Mauder Toten, and the crazy thing is, too, is this is crystal clear, uh, and if it's on a flat plane, why would it not be all looking the same? I know it's supposed to be, like, perspective and stuff like that, but the way they did D-E-R, probably for Dr. Edward Richthofen, is so freaking clever, and... Uh, I tell people, like, I never really wanted to work for Treyarch. Um, I don't want to seem like I do Easter eggs and play their game just to eventually get a job there. But when you find out how smart and clever they are in putting Easter eggs there, it makes you uh, want to work for them because you're basically going to be working with really smart, highly intelligent people that can do Easter eggs like this. Uh, I mean, like, again, Mr. T. Lexify this all, deserves all the credit. Um, if he's right, if... If he's wrong, I'll, I'll take all the blame. Um, if for some reason, like, three years go by and then we never got Rick Topping in, uh, in Cold War. Or it could mean, uh, literally could mean that it could just be an Easter egg. Like, hey, uh, here's a nod to remembering Rick Toffin. Uh, we're gonna put, like, a little bit of an Easter egg in there for him. Um, but the way they do stuff, and they have done Easter eggs in the past, that has to be, um... An Easter egg for him. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can actually play it um, around here. It's gonna look a bit more crystal clear rather than just pausing it. Uh, but again, you'll see at the certain part the silhouette changes from Valentina. Um, unless, I mean, it could be so many different angles. It could be. It could be. That could actually be the one that's been tricking Valentina, not necessarily the um, guy that kind of looks like Skeletor. Um, but I just wanted to point that out again, and I'm going to go off topic a little bit. That's the thing that I've always mentioned about the zombies community. Because of their age, if they're between the ages of like 16 and maybe like 25, People are so scared to come up with their own ideas or theories because they're scared to get ridiculed by their other zombie YouTubers or their subs or uh, trolls on the internet. But the only way you're going to start solving stuff, and I'm saying that because the zombie community literally has only solved maybe 20% of all the Easter eggs going back from World at War. Uh, there's so many Easter eggs that they've missed. The bigger, like they really only, if there's like, 40 layers, they really only scratched the first two, maybe three layers. Uh, so, just want to kind of put that out there again that, like, Mr. T Lexify, you have to admit, is a little bit different. He's more willing to put himself out there. I totally missed the Easter egg, um, but for him to point it out and make it, um, make that known, I know he probably is still scared to put stuff out there. 
and uh, put himself out there. But you kind of need to. If the zombie community really wants to start solving stuff, um, or go, like I said, go back and look at the older maps and look at all the stuff that they've missed, um, it's crazy because uh, I don't know if they're tricking us, making us think this is the one that uh, tricked Valentina. Maybe it was Richtofen that changed his voice somehow and tricked Valentina. That would be like a double, um, a double, whatever you call it, like a double um, trickery. I, I can't really think of the name, but a double like um, misdirection. Oh, what's the word I'm thinking about? Uh, a double um, plot twist, I guess it would be the best word. Like you're, you're like the plot. The first plot twist was thinking that it was her father, but it ends up being maybe this guy, the one. But maybe this wasn't the one. Maybe it was Richtofen that tricked her to get himself out of uh, the dark ether. Maybe somehow he got trapped in the dark ether. So again, he 100% deserves all the credit, and I don't have any problem giving people the credit. I've solved my fair share of easter eggs, more than my fair share of easter eggs. Um, probably getting up to the hundreds of easter eggs, like I said. The zombies community think that they've solved stuff. They have never even touched uh, or came close to solving some of the easter eggs. So for them to do that again and then put D-E-R right after that, I'm like that has to be an easter egg. Or it could be like the biggest um, accidental discovery um, or accidental like thing win for, for Treyarch. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.